So the half-life is equal to log of 2 divided by k. Independent, independent of initial concentration. It means that if I start out with a ton of a compound, the time it takes to go from a ton to half a ton, well, let's say 10 days, but if I had one gram, the time it would take to go from one gram to half a gram is still 10 days. So I don't care how much you start with. The time it takes to go to half that value is always the same. Let's go and look at uh, the first order half-lives. And so if I look at the first order half-life, first order chemical kinetics is exponential decay. When you plot the time against concentration, concentration against time, it's not a straight line, but if I click on those things, what we're saying is that we went from 1, and I went down to 0.5, exactly 0.5, and it took 1.38 seconds to get there. Now, to go to the next one, you know, this is the next half-life. So you got down from 0.5 to 0.25, and that took two times. It's the same time, 1.3, so it's 2.5. Uh, 878 eight. so it's almost double and if I go to the third one and so what people say about first order chemical kinetics is that you're never going to go to zero it's half it's one point one it's twelve and a half or thirteen which is half of this the time interval is the same and the concentration here drops the concentration drops by a factor of two every time and the time interval is always the same and then for the final one if you subtract them then you see that you have four here, and you have another one, you have another one, you have another one, another one, another one, and you see you never really, with exponential, go to zero, but you get to zero as close as you want to get as time. So the thing about the first order chemical kinetics is that, well, it's, besides it being the most common, is the fact that the, the half-life is independent of concentration. So if I were to... Take 